Okay, next things out are the turbo heat shield, which is held in by three bolts. I've already loosened them and put the bolts back in the brackets. And we'll take off the belt cover. I've also already, uh, here's some bolts. And there's two bolts here. The third one is actually not a bolt, it just slides, slides in at the bottom. I'm gonna pull it out, the belt cover. And then um, I've already taken this piece here that connects to the this tube and it's attached with two bolts and I reinstalled partially those two bolts. The second bolt is just under the belt there. Those two bolts. And then the next thing off will be this two. There's one bolt up top there. We take off this water hose, uh, this clip was on there, which is very easy to take off. And then the hose will pull out. Some water will, will come out. Um, at this point, we can already see the intake manifold here. I'm pointing at it. Uh, you can see it on, on this side as well. It goes up to the turbo there. Um, this intake manifold will have to be removed as the oil uh, heat exchanger is underneath it, and that's where the leak is. So we have to take off uh, this stuff here. We'll have to take this off. Basically, we want to get to this manifold. Um, not sure yet if the fuel rails have to be removed. Definitely not the left one. Because I've seen uh, another video that left it in place. All right, next we take out the turbocharger. And we start with the three bolts holding this pipe in. I've already taken off the top two. These are torques. The bottom one is difficult to get to. However, it is possible to get uh, back there with this. So I'll be taking that out. Um, once this is out, there will be more bolts exposed uh, to take out. I'll film that in a minute. And continuing on removing the turbo, uh, the six bolts that mount the manifold to the exhaust manifold need to be removed. And those are these here. There are three, there's a second, there's one, and there's one below. There's one on each side. Um, this can be done with, uh, it's an E12 Torx and an 18 inch extension. Uh, these are very tight because they, um, because they heat and cool. They can be in there extremely tightly, but I was able to get five out of the six loose using this 18 inch bar. And I actually had to use an extension to break a torque extension to break this, like a breaker extension. Uh, the sixth is behind this. I did also use uh, a spray. This is a, a penetrant spray. <clears throat> Each of these bolts, every single bolt I removed here, I first used the penetrant spray and let it soak for at least one hour. And uh, with that, I was able to loosen. These, by the way, are not 12, they're E10. These bolts are 
the, on this little copper tube are tens on both sides and I was able to loosen all four of those with just a uh, socket driver and an E10 bit. Um, I also soak these first with uh, penetrant spray. So these are loose now. I'm going to loosen them further and then get to the sixth bolt behind here uh, to take the rest of that off. Okay, there are a couple of more things on the turbo. There are two uh, T45 bolts in here on either side. And in the middle, there is an 18 millimeter, this guy. And um, here in the front, we have another E10. May need that E10 as well. And then there are electrical connection. Here's one electrical connection going to that box. That box stays on the turbo. And then there's another wire here. This leads to the turbo as well. So we take these off. I've already loosened this. Let me see. Turbo is loose now. <clears throat> still something holding it back so I will investigate what that is and put it in the next video okay continuing on with the turbocharger it turns out that this 18 millimeter did not have to be removed it's just a cap I'll put it back later um, and there are two more E12s a bit hard to see look they are down here um, that's where they are the one on each side so I'm taking those out right now last on the turbo removal those two last two e12s uh, these two, I uh, partially screwed them back in, so not to lose the bolts. They did the trick to remove the turbo. But then it was still kind of difficult to maneuver it out. I had to angle it just right. And I found that I had to remove the heat shield bracket, which is here, so I could maneuver it. So this bracket, this little bracket had to be removed to give enough wiggle room to get the turbo out. And I also put, these are E10s. I partially screwed those back in to keep them there. That did the trick. And the uh, turbo is now out. Something to keep in mind for turbo reinstallation. There are gaskets that go everywhere. There's a, there are copper gaskets on the exhausts here. There's also a gasket that goes here. That's uh, this guy. And um, on reinstallation, you have to be sure that this is plugged back in. And also uh, this plug here, the electrical.